Okay, so today I have a really, really fun video. I am sharing my top secret tips on how I make my video thumbnails. I've gotten a lot of compliments on my thumbnails, and I have to admit, I like making thumbnails because really, I'm an artist at heart, and I like making thumbnails. So how do I make them? And more importantly, how do I take pictures of myself? They're actually not selfies. I actually record a video of me making these ridiculous faces, you know, like. And I just record a video with all of my silly faces and gestures because, you know, that is one of the tips on YouTube is to have facial expressions that create interest and show emotion. So I take a video of myself doing that and then I pop it into Premiere and then I'm going to use the camera icon to take a screen capture of that frame and I'm going to get a bunch of different photo options out of this video that I just make, you know, like a dozen or so funny facial expressions. So when I'm using the camera icon, it's making a screen capture, capturing that frame, it's creating it as a JPEG. And then I just take a look, what are all my different options? And I pick one that I think might be good for the thumbnail. And then here's my super secret tip that I don't tell anyone. So I then I use a program called Portrait Professional just to make my face look nice and smooth and well lit for the thumbnail. So I pop it into Portrait Professional. Just do a little touch up. Just a little touch up. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that over to Photoshop with a click. I'm going to be able to drop that background out, do any lighting adjustments, and then it's ready for my thumbnail. Now, I have a template that I have created in Adobe InDesign of all of my thumbnails. So I can see how each thumbnail works together by looking at my previous ones. So I'm going to go in there. I can also copy and paste the text so that I don't have to create formatting from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and put in my picture from my video that's all Photoshop. I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to choose a background. I personally use Deposit Photos. You can use any stock program that you're using. There's a gajillion of them out there. So I pick a background and then I'm going to format my text to go along with my video. Once I've got that done, I'm good to go. Now I export it as a JPEG and voila, there's my thumbnail. So now you know my super secret tips for how I create my video thumbnails. I hope you find that helpful. Honestly, taking the video thing was like a game changer because I was trying to take selfies and I had a selfie stick and it was just, ah, it was a whole big mess. So shooting that video and taking those frame screen captures was like, a major game changer for me on how I was able to take pictures of myself and put that thumbnail together. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, drop a comment below and hopefully a nice one. I don't like the mean ones. Nobody does. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It would mean so much to me if you would join me on my YouTube journey and I'll be right alongside you for your YouTube journey as well.